Get Your Paint On. I'm joined here today by Tony Konacek and Josh Kalou. Good morning. That is the name I'm beautiful, known as. Beautiful people here. Um, <clears throat> little, a couple announcements here this morning. One, I'm back from Adepticon. Woo! Yay! I survived. I didn't, we we didn't missed you apart. in the office. I know. It was, uh, it was a very long convention. Uh, I didn't realize that it was an entire week, so that's fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, welcome back. Glad to see you guys again. Uh, unfortunately, I will also be gone next week. A um, little bit of recovery time for myself, uh, but we might have something fixed in as kind of a backup plan. We're, we're going to see. We're what working we can, on. We're going to see what we can do. We're working on it. A um, couple announcements here, real quick. Uh, let's go to the st- st- blah, 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 blah. stream schedule. <laughs> Uh, we've got Dev Hangout on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Get your paint on, normally every Thursday at 10 a.m. A little bit of a hiccup here and there. Uh, should go back to normal here soon. Uh, we've got our staff showdown uh, April 11th or 12th. 12th, I can yeah. read. I am <laughs> actually able to read. 12th and, at 10 a.m. And that's going uh, to be Jeff Olson versus Hungerford. And Jeff's going to be playing Grimkin. And I believe Hungerford is going to be playing... Well, you know what? I thought he was he usually minions, but I believe that I mean, he mentioned it's... he might be bringing Cephalix, so I guess we'll have to see. Ooh. So we'll see. We'll see. It sounds exciting. Jeff's Grimkin is really, really awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing that on stream. Uh, we've got Primecast Live April 19th at 10 a.m. So tune in for those guys when they, uh, when they can become available to watch. Um, let's check out the Hobby and Terrain blog for... Um, all of our of your hobby needs. Danny is continually updating his hobby and terrain blog. That's you. That is me. In fact, uh, that is not my hand though. <laughs> That's definitely Hungerford's hand. Um, I know it looks an awful lot like mine. My my hand is quite a bit larger and bulkier than that. But uh, check out Danny's hobby and terrain blog. He updates it pretty much every day. Sometimes multiple times a day with uh, some some hobby stuff that he's working on. Uh, the current thing he's working on is that sweet, sweet table for lock and load this year. Yeah, which uh, <coughs> um, on our Facebook videos or on Privateer Press Prime, we have the Infernal Friday video uh, where you can go kind of hear Danny talk about that process and see some of the progress that he's made there, too. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's crushing it with that table. It looks really fact, awesome. In fact, when we're, when we're all done here, I'll try to remember to post that link into the, into the chat. Uh, ne- next, we've got uh, lock and load tickets uh, still on sale June 21st through the 23rd uh, this year. Uh, s- event signups are open now, so if you guys want to sign up for your tournaments or your various different events, what have you, uh, get get on that before they get filled up. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys there. What are you going to be there doing? Uh, I'm going to be painting. Just straight pretty, painting, pretty much all weekend. Yeah, so, you come, so people can come hang out with you. And yeah, as and far as I'm chat. aware, uh, if things change, I'll let you guys know. But um, as far as I'm currently aware, I'm just gonna be hanging out painting. Um, if you guys have any questions? I'll be there literally all weekend to answer questions for you guys. So um, think of it as a sort of impromptu in person. Get your paint on. Get your paint on. Yeah. Last literally all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, come check that out. The group edition. Yep. Um, next, we got mini crate. Uh, we've got the Ancestral Guardian, Agel, uh, which you can get by subscribing by the 19th of this month. Um, you'll, if you subscribe for the VIP service, you will receive Bride of Arcadius, uh, which is one of my favorite models. The model is super awesome. I wish I played Minions because I would totally play that <laughs> all the time. Uh, and then also it is your last week to order uh, Bayushi Shouju, of the Scorpion Clan uh, ends April 5th. So tomorrow is the last day. So get on that if you guys are looking for that. Um, all right. Next thing, let's get on to, to painting. Uh, Hit us. What do we got? We bum, have bum, bum. King Kondo for Monster Apocalypse. Uh, I don't know if we've actually shown this guy off yet in like actual model form. Yeah, we've shown the render. But um, the yeah, this is, this is uh, the not the studio one. This is just one that we're going to be painting for fun here. Um, but yeah, he's really, really, really awesome, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the rest of the little apes that go along with him. And uh, we'll we'll get on that. So a couple of my plans here. We're gonna we're gonna be painting his skin red. So you guys, if you tuned in for the um, Malady Man stream, you'll know that I painted the, that little monkey uh, red and white red skin with white fur. I'll do the same thing here. So we're gonna do red skin. 
we're gonna do white fur. Um, I think that'll just look real cool, and so we're gonna do it that way. So um, start out by glazing slash painting um, some of the midtone values in in here. I'm doing this mostly to kind of save some time. That way, I don't have to backtrack and go back to other things when I'm done. Putting in some of the shade darker values as well. Slightly brighter color here. And sorry, which color was that, Jordan? Uh, so uh, I'll go over what's on my palette here real quick. Okay. Um, I have Scorn Red, which is kind of that, that mid-tone value. Um, I have um, Kato Red Highlight, or Kato Red Base, excuse me. Um, and then Kato Red Base plus a little bit of Midland Flesh. And then that plus a little bit of um, Heartfire to be the, the real, real bright. I think I'm actually going to go a little bit more opaque on this. This glaze is not really doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to thicken up these paints a little bit. Tony sound effect. You know, I would try, try doing it with my phone, but it actually I didn't like it as much. I like really? I like making the, the organic making the noise, yeah. So I'm gonna stick with that for now. If you absolutely hate it, let me know. But otherwise I'm just gonna keep doing it that way. <laughs> and he might do it even if you hate it. I mean, oh, you never know. He's gotta keep um, some joy in his life. I have a little bit of a contrarian streak, so <laughs> so how was your guys' week while I was out of the office, Tony and Josh? Did it you guys have fun? Delightful. It was great. <laughs> we got to release that uh, Danny's Infernal Friday video, which I'm going to pull up right now. That was a, and I a will great success. Post that in, yeah. So it's just it's fun just to to get a chance to kind of see what goes on around here. We got um, we got some other videos coming up in the next oh, month that'll yeah. give uh, uh, a little bit of. Behind the scenes yeah. action that oh, yeah. that I don't think at least at least as long as I have worked at Privateer Press that that we have not shown off. Yeah, I don't know if it's the next one or the one after that, but there's one that's like revealing some secrets, mm -hmm. some serious secrets. There, there aren't any secrets here. <laughs> oh, 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 poor summer child. <laughs> I, I am well. I am actually a summer child. <laughs> that's uh can't can can't get away from that one. So just kind of going back and forth between the, the mid-tones and some brighter colors on his belly here. And that is King Kondo. King Kondo. So I think he's releasing sometime in the next couple of months, I believe. Yeah, the first of the, of the ape uh, releases for the protectors. These models are, are really freaking cool. Yeah, though. they are fantastic. Ooh, hunger for getting in there, liking this red. Uh, I don't think so, hunger for it, unless you want to step on in and give us a card. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe towards the end of the episode, if uh, if a card showed up in here mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. someone from the dev team were here to talk about it, maybe we could make that happen. I think Oz just flipped over the table. <laughs> it's like, it's like no! A large pounding from the hall. <laughs> it's like, no, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> but yeah, some of these models, I mean, I don't want to like, like troll anyone here, but yeah, some of the new redesigned eight models, especially the units are just, Oh god, they're just delightful. They're good. They're so good. Like, I cannot wait to show some of these these off. And I mean, yeah, but we have a lot of ape releases coming up throughout the summer and stuff. Um, I think fall as well. That are just unbelievable. Yeah, I'm really excited to uh, to paint them. Had a lot of fun painting Pink King Condo up for the studio. Uh, you guys should hopefully be able to see that soonish. Um, 
Uh, I maybe snapped a picture of him down on your desk. You, you so a I might have done so that as well. So if you you there in chat, you know, just be real yeah. nice to me. You might get to see it. I mean, for once, can we be nice to Tony? For once. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't get to have fun, with Tony. Yeah, hunger for Ask Oz, and I was yeah. like, "We're still play testing him." Damn it! All right, so uh, <laughs> we had a little bit of a tease there in the in the beginning, but we cannot, cannot, not even will not. We mm-hmm. cannot give the uh, King Kondo any of the King Kondo stat spoilers today. I mean, he's probably good at throwing things. We Pop, could, we Papa could, Oz we said can, no. Papa, I, I, I literally have no idea what he does, so I'm just <laughs> speculating right now. We could spec, we could spend the rest of the stream speculating what they do. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind doing that. Before run, Oz runs in and throws a book in my head for <laughs> speculating on stream. <laughs> So what uh, what do you got going on now? As far as your, did you move on to a shade? Yeah, so I just mixed a little bit of uh, umber lumber into that um, scorn red shade, and we're using that a little bit of that to kind of develop some some shadows in there. Uh, you were it doesn't look like you're doing it right now, but you were telling me at Adepticon mm-hmm. that you kind of picked up a new technique to a, a little time saver technique uh, where you don't have to base coat the entire model. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's technique is the right term, but it's, it's kind of one of those things just like don't base coat the whole model because you're just going to paint over that stuff anyways. And I was like, Oh yeah, that's uh that seems pretty reasonable. So um, I've been kind of playing around with that a little bit. I did it on, the King Condo downstairs for the studio, and it was very efficient. Um, that's kind of what I was talking about with like painting in the values. So, where I would take <clears throat> the base coat, right, and I would hit this mid tone area here, and I would just start painting there first. And then I would take the highlight color, and then I would paint the highlight areas up here and base coat that way. So that way you have your base coat, your shade, and your highlight all kind of in laid out where they're supposed to be. And then from there, you can just blend them together as you like. Or you can adjust them and change them if you need to. Does that now how are the the blend lines as far as using two brush blending to cover it up. Do you have to change that technique a little bit? Because when uh, you have a base yeah, coat, so you can just blend right over t- what's... Typically, two brush blending is used to blend over a base coat, right? That's just kind of the way that it, two brush blending right. is designed. Um, so you do have to change it up a little bit. Um, you can still two brush blend, but you're going to end up putting wet paint together, and you're going to, on both sides, and you're going to kind of blend them together. Okay. Um, which is more of wet blending than natural two brush blending. Um, but like if I'm doing deep shades afterwards, then I'll two brush blend the deep shades in, um, over the, the base shade. Um, so I'm gonna let that belly dry a little bit cause it's pretty wet. Um, let's get some of this base coat back in here. Gonna hit this kind of mid area. Grab a little bit more scorn red. And I'm being pretty fast and loose with this, so I'm not being super accurate, but I'm just trying to get the the colors down where I r- want them, and then I'll refine it later. Hopefully you guys can see that. Probably can't. See we got going on. Yeah, are there any, here? any questions here? This might actually be a good time for our first C fact. Yeah. Well, so let's answer this question first. So Red Death M. So is mm-hmm. the tummy, which I think is an adorable yeah. way to call King Kondo's 
stomach because it's huge and yeah and round. It's his little tummy. Is it going to be pink or is it going to be a deeper red? So I'm going to highlight up to like a, a desaturated, like pinkish flesh tone. Um, like it won't be the saturated when it's done. Um, I'm just using it as as kind of a higher value right now. Um, but for for right now, yes. But but in in the end, no, definitely not. And Jarrett Hunt wants to know what is this model and who is it for? Uh, the model is King Kondo. It is for Monster Apocalypse. And as far as the who, I think this is just Jordan's personal model. Yeah, I'm not sure what this model is going to be for yet, but I might give it away. I might keep it. Who knows? It's for your pleasure and delight. Yes. Jordan. It, is, it is for a painting demonstration that I'm doing for you guys today. All right, let's make sure we're ready for this because we have up right now. Are you ready, Josh? I'm always ready, man. We have CFAX. <laughs> I'm never going to get over that. No, me either. This was the, it's an eternal, eternal giggle. Oh, God. All right. All right, so first one, I mean, it's obviously themed on the apes mm -hmm. of Monpa. Right. Specifically the giant ones. Empire of the apes. The Empire of the apes. Um, how closely related are human beings to King Kondo? Because you know, theory of evolution, theory of evolution mm -hmm. you know, that we have common ancestors with apes. So. Right. But do we have anything with giant imperial apes? That's so like, where, where did it break off? Yeah, where did it break off? Interesting. But we, and now, I will say this, that, that when we get these sea facts from Doug, that he gives us a nice paragraph answer. So, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. simple answers are hard to come by. But, mm -hmm. but to gauge your personal accuracy, we're looking for a percentage. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's more to it than that, but, yeah. but you want to include a percentage. That's right. And if you have any like scientists on the stream that want to you know, take uh, educated guess and also uh, correct us in our horrible, horrible science fiction <laughs> uh, liberties that we've taken with uh, genes and stuff. Uh -huh. I mean, feel free. I mean, and then it is science. So fiction, correct us, but then fact. applaud us mm -hmm. for our creative license and That's say, right. "Well done, sirs." That's right. We try. Give us the gold star, please, Mister Science Person. Got uh, Quasador says ninety seven percent. He evolved from Ultraman. Fan gold star guess. <laughs> gold star guess. Winter Gollum fifty nine. That's a very interesting <clears throat> percentage. Why not right. sixty? Winter Gollum. Wouldn't that ma mean that? Explain your thinking. But hold on. Wouldn't that mean that we'd be more closely related to like bananas? Like aren't isn't it, don't aren't we like aren't we like <laughs> ninety percent? Like really are we close? ninety percent banana? I, maybe I'm crazy, <laughs> but I thought I read somewhere that like we're pretty close to like. The same genes as like a banana or something. That, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Probably not. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to cite your sources, but yeah. until then, I'm gonna assume you're correct Thank and I'm you. gonna spread that around. Thank you. Um, thirty-seven percent. You know what, Josh? You have just solidified the headcanon that exists in my brain that you are a banana. Uh, you know what? I admit nothing. <laughs> you are, in fact, a banana, sir. I don't Two eighty four man looks at all these all these people. It's uh, I'm, I think it's very interesting that they've they've definitely gone off of the counting by fives in percentage, which would be my natural go to. Yeah, man. Like I, like, I, I want to know their sources. Like, what is the difference between eighty three and eighty four percent? And eighty four percent. Yeah, man. Like I I definitely when I see anyone mm -hmm. guessing eighty one percent on anything, I'm like man, that person either knows something I don't know. Oh, they're just a crazy person. Because who guesses not in fives <laughs> increments of five percent? Yeah. Who who does that? Like if you if you're guessing in, in not five percent increments, then I'm just assuming that you know you know something. You know something, or you are a crazy person, mm -hmm. right? Like you're just out of you're out of your mind. Also, uh, one more thing on this question: Are we uh, are we doing prices right rules for this? Oh, ooh. like if you if you get close but you're over. Yeah, then you're out. Then you're out? Right. Are we doing yeah. it that way? Yes. Okay. You know what? Price is right rules. This is the part where we play the theme, but legally we're not allowed to. I'm not, yeah, I don't even know yeah. if we can say price is right, but mm -hmm. it's there. So I think there was a, let me look back. There's a little question from somebody. Oh, so Joe Taylor wants to know, are you wet blending? Um, kind of. Um, it's a little bit of everything. 
Um, a, a lot of the time, one of the things that I kind of do is just put wet paint on a model and just kind of push it around and smoosh it around in the places that I want. And then I'll like mix other wet paint into it and I'll just kind of get this nice smoothish blend. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't really have a name for it. It's kind of wet blending. It's kind of two brush blending. It's kind of just finger painting without finger painting, but you know, it works for me at least. Um, is it fair to say that a lot of times when you're painting that you're kind of just using simultaneously all the, the tools and techniques yeah, like, at your disposal? The thing is there's, there's, there's no like right way to do it, right? There's so many different techniques, so many different things that you can do. Everybody kind of paints differently, right? And it's, it's a lot of finding what you're comfortable with and what you get the best results with. And, you know, I, I have good results with, you know, two brush blending. I have good results with, you know, layering and doing wet blending. Um, so I kind of just, you know, use all of those things kind of at the same time or one after another whenever it's applicable. Because, like, see right now I'm doing a little bit of two brush blending to get this, this highlight in place. But I wasn't using two brush blending when I was, you know, laying down the base coats. Right. I think that's a very beautiful, um, you know, motivational speech about painting and the painting stream. But I need to interject something that's even more important. Okay, listen. <laughs> according oh to GetScience.com, <laughs> and Get no, because I don't believe com. this. And Doug Seek had insulted me on on chat. Many of the how <laughs> no, stop laughing at me right now. Many of the housekeeping <laughs> genes that are necessary for basic cellular function, such as for replicating DNA, uh, controlling the cell cycle, and helping cells divide, are shared between many plants, including bananas and animals. We have. More than 60% identical genes with bananas. Thank you very much. I was right. <laughs> GetScience.com, 2003. You were wrong, Doug. For once, you were wrong. How about that? How about that, everyone? When, right. you, when you first said Josh Get is Science, a I thought you said Gets Science. And I was like, well, that, yeah. yeah That's al also yeah. a reliable source for information. I sh I'm sh if he was on stream today, he would agree with me because he would have known that. Yeah. So everyone's wrong. I'm right. Thank you. Josh. All right, so let's go look at our numbers. We got, I mean, you said 90%. How about that? Don't correct me. We, I don't know. We I don't have, know. <laughs> we have a range of numbers, everything from 1% all the way up to the 90s. So let's take a look at what the actual answer is. And then um, Josh will give us the, the meat of it. <laughs> yeah. And oh, whoa, whoa. The oh. answer is. Oh, nobody saw that. And here we go. Might be as much as 95%. 95%. Okay, should I read the whole thing Yeah, that our lower master wrote? Yeah, well, that's why we have to, because I have to ask him to do this every week. And, yeah, we don't waste and if we don't wait, And if we don't read it, then it's a waste of time. All right, I'll read what Doug said, even though I'm mad at him. The exact <laughs> taxonomy of members of the Empire of the Apes is still being determined, but they are believed to be a species of gorillas, which are part of a family commonly referred to as great apes, Proper name, Hominidae. I, I you know, when I read that, I wasn't yeah. sure. How I to gave say it a shot. That was my attempt. Okay, look, I was right about bananas. Maybe I was wrong about uh, this, which includes orangutans, chimpanzees, bonobos, and humans. This means humans are as closely related to King Kondo as other gorillas, but not as close as chimpanzees and bonobos. King Kondo might have as much as 95% of the same DNA as humans, hard as that is to believe. Thank you, Doug Seacat. Thank you for just your, just just being a beautiful man with beautiful lore wisdom. With the ninety five percent, does that mean that he got so, one of the Netflix binge genes? I like to think well, so. Well, well, well. Hold on. All right. So if we're going off of us being sixty something percent banana, okay. All right. I'm with you <laughs> so far. I'm with you. All right. All right. If if we're going by that logic, right? Yeah. And you know, we know that. Apes, monkeys, like bananas, right? Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a thing. So I, they like, I don't like where this is going, but go ahead. They like they like eating their own, you know, you know, cousins in a weird way. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, they're cannibals. 
There's a little bit of, co- you know, there might be. I mean, that's it, a dark thought. <laughs> for another, dark thought. Too, too dark for this morning <laughs> stream, but I, 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 like, I like where your head's at, Jordan. You like where my head's at. Mm-hmm. It's, it's dark, but you like where my head's at. <laughs> Yeah, for the painting, we got to Nate Brooks is uh, wasn't so sure about about painting the red when you said that you were going to do it, but he likes how it's turning out. And somebody else asked about uh, about the fur. Did you talk about what your fur plans were? I have no idea what my fur plans are. I mean, they're going to be white, but right. I'm not going to just paint it, you know, Mara white. It's going to have some color to it. Um, it's probably going to be like warmer, maybe some like bashing gray, hammerfall khaki somewhere in there. Know, maybe men off the white base. Who knows? We'll find out. Doug Seacat just volunteered to teach uh, biology classes for privateer press staff. No, oh, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. I've heard his thesis on like the biology of Trollkin, and he invented all of it. Like, I do not need biology lessons from Doug Seacat. <laughs> he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> Trollkin would not work. Okay, let's be real here, Doug. All right. Like. <laughs> So now I'm putting in some beaten purple, which this might be a little dark for me. So I might want to mix something a little bit brighter. Um, one of the things that a lot of people may not know, <coughs> how many people here have actually tried to mix purple with blue and red? How many people? Oh, I've definitely Everybody? tried it, yeah. 60%. Wait, 60%? 95%? 95%. All right. How many people? Yeah, there you go. Primal Poodle knows how it is. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It's a muddy mess. It looks like garbage. That's why you have your piggy purple ink. But, but, so, a cool alternative option, if you want to mix your own purple that's a lot nicer and cooler, and uh, shout out to Eric Swinson for giving me this hot take tip, um, you can mix a cyan color and a magenta color to make purple. Now, in our paint range, closest thing I've found is murderous magenta and arcane blue. Ooh. Right? So you take these two and you mix them up, and you're gonna get this nice purple color. And you can cha- you can change it. You can adjust it. If you have too much. Arcane blue, it'll end up looking a little lavender. Um, but you can push a little bit more magenta in there, and it'll change that color. So once I get this mixed up, I will show you guys what, kind of what I'm talking about here. Versus piggy purple ink, which is, or piggy purple ink, beaten purple. Now, why would like what is the benefit of making this mix versus using beaten purple? It's it's just a it's tends to be a little bit higher value, so it's brighter, um, and it's it's just a it's a different purple. Okay, it's um like piggy purple ink is or God I keep saying that uh, beaten purple is really dark. It's really really dark, um, and this is a little bit brighter, or it's a lot of bit brighter actually, but. Not quite good. So RuneWise is saying the RGB versus CMY debate rages on. I don't. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I don't, mean, there, I don't know not, that it's a debate. It's not a debate. It, they're just they both exist and they both are useful in different kind of ways, right? So you grab. You know, let me grab this piece of paper. This will be easier to demonstrate, I think. I'm going to have to get a palette cam back in for you one of these yeah, days. That's, that's true. probably a good idea, to be honest. All right, so. So, that, wow, that totally just blows out the difference. Um, let me find the palette. Oh, he's finding the palette. All right. Oh, look at that. So this. This is the mix right here, right here. This is piggy purple ink right there. And I'm dripping water all over myself, so I'm gonna move it. 
Uh, you mean you mean beaten purple? Yes, thank you. Gosh <laughs> darn it. Oh. That's right, Jordan. We love you. Sorry, everybody. I'm having a rough time this morning. I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, but we're we're getting there. But anyways, I think the reason why I want to use this this mix is because it's a little bit closer to the red range. So it's gonna mix better with the reds that I already have on the model. And I'm gonna be mixing it into the, the shadowed area here. Becky Red asks, is that mix good for blending tones with bass and highlighting? I mean you can use it for whatever whatever you like really. Like I'm let me read the question. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where is the question? Where, which side? Blending toads with bass and highlighting. Uh, it's really w w kind of what you make it, to be honest. Right. Like, it's it's a little bit brighter, so you can use it for other things. Um, oh, the, 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 really, the real one, let me actually mix blue and, I don't have the colors here. Um, blue and red? Yeah. But if you mix blue and red, it's a muddy mess. It is not like beaten purple. It is it is real bad. Really, it gets really muddy when you mix. Oh, those. it's it's really bad. Um, Interesting. Is that because of the acrylic? Is that like the? I think it's it's the nature of the the blue colors that the blue and red colors that we have. Like interesting. they just don't mix particularly well. That's very interesting. Um, because that'd be the first, like, if I was doing a, a purple color, that'd be my first, like, without knowing anything, right. right, that's what I'd use to make a purple, right? Yeah. Well, I think, uh, uh, because it's it's true for other types of paint as well. It's not mm -hmm. not unique to, to, our, to our range, but your yeah. traditional red and your traditional blue, blue like, what, do not what pops the in the mind for most people right. tend to, to kind of... Uh, they just don't make a good purple. Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, there's a little orange or something in the red that that mm -hmm. complements the blue and kind of dulls yeah, it down or and what? makes it into comp, yeah. But I'm a big fan of this this purple color, and I'm it's, it's going to be using it a lot very more. very fetching. You also have a little bit more control over, like, what the purple tone looks like, because if you use piggy purple, or piggy purple, god dang it, <laughs> <laughs> Be beaten purple. I think we're going to have uh, to change the paint color. You're yeah. stuck. Now we're going to have to flip-flop those names <laughs> just for Jordan. You're stuck to using specifically that shade of color, and you have to mix into it to change it. Whereas if you're mixing your own purple, you can change and you can vary the, the tone of, of your purple to kind of whatever you want. Because like I was saying, if you mix more arcane blue into murderous magenta you get a lot more of a uh, like lavender color oh, which look. for some things is really good like if you're painting like a really bright armor plate or something that's purple like that could even work as a nice highlight for beaten purple right so we have terrain meister danny samuels in the in the chat right now oh dang Speak to us, well, Terrain he, Meister. He is speaking, and he's being very negative. I'm not sure what he's saying nope to, but it's Danny, so it could be anything. It could be completely unrelated to what we're talking about right he's now. He's probably just noping himself. <laughs> he's not. You may not even know if he's on the internet right now. <laughs> what are you noping, Danny? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Can't be done. We got a yeah, maybe an idea. Maybe we'll see about getting Danny next week for get your paint on. Be, oh God, that would be really great. Sounds dangerous. That is a nice, vibrant belly. Mm-hmm. So are you going to be working, uh, are you going to be doing this uh, blending for a little bit, Jordan? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Then while you're doing that, I would like to take a look at what some of our uh, hashtag P3 painters submissions are. Ooh, Absolutely. yeah. Because we've been getting... We've been getting a bunch of them. We've been getting a bunch. There's some real cool mm -hmm. ones. You guys have been sending in a lot of photos, which is really cool to be able to see what you're up to. Um, so if you don't know, uh, if you... Give a hashtag P3Painters to Instagram 
Um, we look at those photos every week right. of, of what you've been painting uh, from Privateer Press and, and using our paints and uh, everything that you're creating. And then uh, sometimes we'll, uh, we'll pick some and we'll show them off every week, just uh, ones that kind of stand out and they're super cool. So let's take a look at our first one. Ooh, look at that. Psychedelic Martian. Yeah, yes. I really like the... Uh, so the Aries Mothership the from Frothy Cat. crazy colors in this. That's tremendous. This one really popped out. It is very psychedelic. But done well. Again, like another... I've, I've said it before. Uh, I get a little cringy when it starts... When, when I think about a lot of colors sure. uh, appearing and becoming very busy and vibrant. Um, and, and that's my thing. And so I like it when I see things like this, where you got a lot of punchy, poppy colors going on, but they're all working together and they're not being like uh, creating a visual confusion. That's just gorgeous. Here's the top end. It is a great job on these purple vents, too. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this, Jordan? I like it a lot. It's... I like the, the the vibrancy of the color. Like that's not something that's super easy to pull off, and have it look not weird. Um, I also like that the the glow on the the kind of um, I don't know what to call it the the beam that goes down mm -hmm. right. Um, I like that that's got all the different colors in it and as it's well. It's multicolored. Really cool. Yeah, this is a really good shot right here. I love all the a little detailing and all the little Martian electronics and mechanics underneath there and then his comment is sorry these photos came out dark i'll get better ones up later i don't think that's a problem i think these these colors were uh were vibrant enough to mm -hmm. overcome uh any underexposed um underexposure of the photo nice job frothy cat thank you looks real good ma'am keep it keep it keep it going all right going. and here we go for the next one now these from Lava Painter, which <sighs> makes perfect sense. Why? Oh, I didn't even realize the name. That's was the name, Lava Painter. Painter. Right. This is one example, but Lava Painter gave us um, or sent a in bunch, a yeah. whole series of these of different uh, Rhett Jacks and models with done with this lava theme. And I think it was one. Was it um, was it Magister Helena? I can't uh, remember which model it was. No, it was Silas. Silas, and actually had had done the lava on the base, and then done like a corkscrew spiral around. Oh, that's. The Staff That's shooting tremendous. out. Yeah, it was fantastic. But these are really just very nice, striking paint jobs. And I can't remember. Can you see this, Jordan or Josh? If you know this model, did they have to repose the did have to um, repose the leg to get it up there on that base? No, because I think he's hunched over. Is he kind of leaning yeah. forward? If Lava Painter's in the chat, they can confirm or deny whether it was or not. But it's been a while since I've looked at um, Imperitus, so yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you off the top of my head whether or not that's got any conversion. It, it's probably got a little bit. Also, divulge your secret. I'm the only one listening right now. What did you use for the lava? Everybody yeah, else, uh, cover your ears. That's just gorgeous. All right, this next one. I like I think is really cool. Sure. This is this was a fun uh a fun project. There it is. I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, this is really neat. I saw that one and I liked it on <laughs> I think Facebook. I it's so it made me so happy love to see this. it. Somebody's really hyped for Infernals. Oh, that's just so great. Because it's funny because that's the that's literally the only image we had shown of Infernals like mm -hmm. after release for like a month and a half. And it's just, it was just so awesome to see that. Like, yeah. Someone take that inspiration from it. So I'm, if you don't know, just for context, this, this is a diorama based on the art image for Infernals for the curator mm -hmm. uh, that has the, the text treatment over it that we premiered in the video last lock and load. And then this Infernals model is not a new Infernals model. Yeah, it's the classic Iron Kingdoms RPG. Right. I think it's the only Infernal model that exists. Uh, I want to uh, say no, there's, there's, there's four, a couple there's of two them. Two or three. We, we had like a, a couple other ones, but um, ha, look, at it's just so cool. It's yeah. Just so, and it's also kind of funny. I love it. I it's, love that. Th and it's... It's a weird blend of the uh, of the new, the not yet has come right. out, as well as the nostalgic, because that 
these uh, minis are 15, almost 20 years old. 2004, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah about, about 15, 16 years old. Great job. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. So send them in. I keep yeah, sending keep them in. Yeah, keep it coming. I love Got to get back in here with some shades. Might have to switch over to doing some fur here in a second. Make sure we actually have time for it. Yeah, we got uh, we got about twenty minutes. Yeah, twenty minutes left. We still got a couple more C facts mm -hmm. to stick out there too. We gotta certainly do. P three hashtag. Stick. Okay. Uh, painters hashtag work on Twitter as well or just Instagram? Josh, that's a question oh, for you. just realized I haven't painted his face. <laughs> we certainly keep an eye on on uh, Twitter as well. Um, but it will work on both Twitter and Facebook. You know, Right now, we, when we started, we focused on Instagram, but I think we could expand it to okay. the others as well. Let's start taking a look at those. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this. Striker 911, I love what you've done here. And and I think he's asking for something that we can deliver. Oh, yeah. What's this? It's a little, he's got a little icon of a dolphin and a, and a lion in the chat, which means that it's, it's probably time, time for CFAX. Mm-hmm. That sound. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Tony. All right, Josh. Hit us. Next question. If it is known as the Empire of the Apes, why isn't he titled Emperor Kondo? Because he should be, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So any guesses on why it is not Emperor Kondo? We're talking about King Kondo. I mean, I want to see guesses as far-fetched as, like, there was a coup, you know, and mm -hmm. how, you know, it got dethroned from the Empire and oh. got, you know. And there's are they still, like, doing paperwork they're trying still to doing get the it paperwork, turned to a monarchy? Know, or, you know, there's different kinds of things. But, you know, I think the answer... Will both surprise and delight people. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff one nine eight five zero eight one seven because he, because his father is still alive. Blech. That's kind of awesome, hey, actually. Maybe, yeah. That's actually kind of awesome. That's some drama there. Oh, well, Quasitor posits that he's just a figurehead, not the actual leader. And I'll tell you this: for a figurehead, he sure. Beats up a lot of people. <laughs> like he gets a lot done for uh, for just a just a figurehead. Uh, oh, also, by the way, Tony, uh, just to give you this mix that I'm working on. Yeah. Um, for the fur, this is dashing gray plus menoth white base. Bashing gray. Here it comes. Slower than expected. And I've heard from one than one source that. Is our Menoth white based on a yellow, actually? Is that true? It's, yeah, it's definitely a little yellow. That's interesting. So Bastion Gray and what else? Sorry. Uh, Bastion Gray and Menoth white base. Menoth. White base. I like learning new things when I'm with Jordan. Learning new things every day. Oh, look at that. Give his little belly button. Almost. Danny, Danny's heckling you in the chat, by the way. What is he heckling me about there this There it time? is right there. He just wants you to do quote unquote get it's, good. It's not really heckling; it is encouragement. I, I mean, guess. when you when you dive deep yeah. under the vitriol, depending on his and negativity, depending on his inflection, he might just. I be, mean, Dan, Danny's like literally not saying anything. That He's just true. spewing words into the <laughs> into the channel. 
That is true. And is not actually making a comment. So, you know what, Danny? Get good and make a comment. <laughs> oh. Now it's spicy time with Jordan. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> spicy time. Danny gets me all, all hot and bothered sometimes. RuneWise has my favorite answer so far, mm-hmm. which is that he's named King Kondo because King is his first name. <laughs> Emperor King Bartholomew Kondo Jr. I like the implication to me that Kondo, like they have last names. <laughs> I mean, really you know what? Me I wouldn't put it past us. <laughs> that really to be honest. <laughs> That actually makes me laugh. Like his dad's name, Jeffrey Kondo. You know, like that was pretty good. I like it. Maybe he's like a rapper and he's got like, you know, a stage name. Stage his name. Stage name That's his stage name. He is Emperor yeah. Kondo, but he doesn't. That doesn't look good on the album cover. Yeah, yeah it's true. It's, no, it's too long. It's too <laughs> long. It, can't, it won't fit on the album cover. Well, let's, uh, get, let's get the let's get the the truth out there. It's, it's actually funny. That we talk about it not fitting on an album cover. Oh, wow. That's actually that's, hilarious. That's a little, there's some truth to that in the answer, which is, you ready, Josh? Mm-hmm. It's for simple alliteration, because King Kondo literally sounds better than Emperor Kondo. And than Kondo. Emperor Kondo. And as far as creative license goes, um, our master Seacat says, there might be some small and we assure you, purely accidental similarity to another oversized ape-like individual whose name includes a similar a- alliteration. Now, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he, you know. Doug, you're not making sense. Um, it isn't clear if Kondo himself actually understands or cares about the semantic distinction. But he is <laughs> in charge, though. Distinction. And that's the main thing. So it doesn't matter if he's emperor, king, or whatever, or duke, he is... In charge. He is in charge. Kondo. He is in charge. <laughs> <clears throat> but yes, I think canonically we, we will make it so that King is his first name. Oh, he's falling over. Are you planning? You're not planning to do all the fur now, or you could do I mean, just a I'm portion just, of it? Just painting the fur. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. Got, I've got some time. I mean, this guy's coming together pretty pretty fast. If I'm now, being honest. Are you going to paint this fur like in a? Uh, are you going to use the same techniques to paint the fur as you did the uh, the belly? No, no. Th- well, kind of. Um, so fur is kind of annoying in that you can't really two brush blend it very well. Um, so like wet blending works really well on fur, um, which is my general preferred way. You can also, um, dry brush fur is another successful way to do it. Um, I like two brush or, two, or uh, um, wet blending it just cause it, it gets that really nice, like smooth transition of highlight and shadow, mm-hmm. which you don't get with, with dry brushing, and it doesn't look quite as, like, dusty. Right. Because um, just by the nature of, of dry brushing, your stuff tends to look pretty dusty. Um, but, yeah, pretty happy with this, this color. It was a, a good choice. Definitely doesn't make sense for his fur to be like super bright, clean white because dudes he's been destroying some buildings, wrecking man. stuff. Yeah, yeah. It should be all sooty and dirty. Yeah, and exactly. Or allow me to be a contrarian for a minute. Maybe he's very keen on his appearance, and he has his ape underlings quaff him and clean up his fur after every battle. So maybe he's the most dandy. Of the apes. dandy of apes. I'm well, the saying. thing is, his underlings are very small. As I'm saying, so, it's, so <laughs> there's like 80 of them, right? Just, you know, cleaning, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah, just, Getting the ticks off of there. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, he is, he is the king. I'm just saying, Jordan, let me li- live my truth, please. Let me live my <laughs> King Kondo truth. No, Thank you. no truth for you. Only speculation. Now, from the screen, and again, it just looks on the screen, it looks like the paint... 
you're adding is it a little on a thicker side? Is that right, or is that just an effect because of it's the texture? It's, it's pretty thick, and the texture it's a little little bit of everything. Um, like it's it's very wet and and, and loose, right? Um, let me mix up. So I'm probably gonna do my shade as as bashing gray. So let me. Dog, see a cat. Could you just for once <laughs> let me have <laughs> one thing in my life? Just for once. God. Oh, that's true. General Hondo, on the other hand, he uh, he has medals. Yeah, he does. So maybe he could be the dandy. All right, so. Yeah, Becky Red also says she likes doing base colors with wet blending over dry brushing. And she did that with her circle wolves, and she will send a pick in. I think Heck you need yeah. to do that. We need to see we need to see a picture. Yep. Use the hashtag. Let's see it. All right. Let's do this last C fact. Let's do it. Okay, I forget what this one is. But we're gonna pretend I didn't show the answer before on accident. How does King Kondo feel about humanity? Now, take a good look at the model. That might give you some hints <laughs> as to hey, how I feel about don't people. Don't tell them the, the answer. I'm not giving it, I'm just giving them hints, you know. That's... I want to make it fair, you know. But I will say we all are related. We are all we are all related. Mm-hmm. 95% related. We're all bananas mm-hmm. here, okay? Mm-hmm. We're all bananas here. <laughs> That's true. Don't don't you worry about no bananas. Oh, like, yeah, Forge of Souls. Humanity is tasty because there's 60% banana. I mean, listen, that is there, a scientific that's least, fact. That's at least banana flavored. But can I say that that is scientific fact, and I will not be dis, uh, you know, disparaged <laughs> for my knowledge. It's like the one science thing I knew that no one believed in me. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, hey, I didn't didn't believe in you. I just uh, didn't know enough about the content to be able to have an educated answer. That's right. But there was some. There, I was actively attacked. Uh, that's all I'll say. <laughs> As usual. So which hunt? Vanna Beast is heckling me for revealing the third answer for the second time because it happened. It happened on one of the like last couple streams. It did happen a while ago, I Tony. Mean, you like, need to get you need to get a grip on that, my my friend. But let me try and defend Tony for a second. I mean, you try to run a successful streaming empire at Pirate Tripper and not make a couple mistakes here and there. You know what? Mistakes happen. Let's 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 honor Tony mm-hmm. instead of always attacking him. If you you called it an empire, does that mean I'm King Tony? You are your first name is literally King. <laughs> your last name is Tony. People don't know that. Um and that's just a fact. That's a Tony fact. Insert animal noise. <sighs> what a wonderful morning. Quasitor says be. he's not a fan. He thinks we spend too much time creating reality TV shows and add enough content that involves positive a body image. If that isn't the actual answer, that should be the answer. I think King Kondo should be a, a critic and a philosopher of the human condition, and I respect that. You just used a lot of big words just then. I wasn't ready for. Uh, it's, it's too early in the morning for big words. <laughs> I apologize. I do like that idea, though, that he's that he has a, some sort of political yeah he's political like, agenda. He's social like, issues. He's you know he's like commercialism is destroyed creativity. <laughs> Murr, like hell yeah, King yeah. Kondo, do it. That's why he's so destructive. He doesn't like knocking things over. He just doesn't like consumerist society. Right. So he's like, I'm just going to destroy all your material possessions and everything you love. That way you'll get your mind right. It's like another shopping mall. King Kondo not approved. And then, <laughs> burr, another, <laughs> another shopping mall? No. I, that, that would make me like King Kondo even more. And I already love King Kondo. Frothy Cat says humans are like family. Oh, Frothy Cat, you are on point. But sometimes your family attempts to enslave you, and you kind of end up hating wow. them. Fro- that, that, um, is, that was We're going to have to do this. Are we ready? We're, it's already been Frothy revealed. Cat, bam. It's complicated. That's the only answer I could fit on the screen. Humans did, uh, in fact, attempt to capture him, and that made King Kondo very angry. It's best not to remind him of that. 
there are other th- things he has placed as a higher priority to, to kill, and the fact that humans are also apes might help him get over it eventually. Mm-hmm. So he does defend us because we are related, but mm-hmm. he's, you know, we've heard him in the past. There's a, there might be a grudge. There's a grudge. I mean, those chains, he didn't put those chains on there. Yeah. You know I mean, they're saying? probably pretty effective at, like, doing some damage, though. That is true. Well, not so effective at, at holding him back, though. Well, I got to do something for Frothy Cat. Mm-hmm. Nice job. That was for you, Frothy well Cat. Well done. That was for you. You get a get your paint on gold star today. You can uh, submit uh, ten of those for a no prize. <laughs> for for a, a no prize. A privateer press official no prize. Hunter Dominique says, humanity is like that loud neighbor, and now he's done banging angrily on the wall. That's also very accurate. <laughs> like, we are just not making his living space um, pleasurable, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And uh, that's our fault. Well, Doug Seacat, that's a, did, would the Empire of the Apes, would they, would they be patient neighbors who've now reached their limit, or would they just, at the first hint of inconvenience, start knocking over buildings? It's a good question. Well, like I mean, what, what causes them to rise up? Like, what's their threshold? I mean, I, I'd imagine that the Martian invasion probably didn't help things, um, or like the return of the ancient god King Cthulhu. But, uh, you know, I, I'm sure humans didn't help matters much themselves either. Buildings are generally more fun to climb than to destroy, thankfully. That's true. That is true. I don't know. At least at first, if I had if I had condos, size, and or strength and the ability to knock down buildings, I have to admit, in the beginning, it might be fun to push a few of them over. Just to see what happens. Just to see if I could. If I was a civil engineer in the <laughs> Mon Pac universe, I would immediately order we build monkey bars in every building. That way, the, the the apes protect the the buildings more, right? Because they're more fun to, to to climb. You just have an ape ladder on each face of the building. Oh yeah. Just like reinforce, like here you go. If mm-hmm. you you don't have to knock it down, just just use the. There's a designated pathway for you right here. That's very true. But yeah, so I mean, this is for. Um, I saw someone asking about the colors. This is like an alternate color. Sp- Paint scheme. This isn't the official studio paint scheme. Oh, it's the oh yeah, official studio is very, 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 very different yeah. than the, the official studio. Um, so this is just for funsies, for laughter, for mirth. Uh, this is some Midland flesh and uh, scorn red, by the way. Just in case Tony was wondering and wanted to throw it up on the screen. You know, I get distracted easily, and then I forget to do it. Midland flesh and and what? Uh, scorn ray. Scorn ray. That's what I thought. I want to know what gave him those scars. Was it a terror sword? Were they fighting? That's what I want to know. Was it a, a, a attempted usurper trying to steal his his throne? Maybe he did it himself. Maybe maybe he did it himself. Maybe he had a really really awful like he had a rash. Oh he yeah. Was just like, I can't. Mm-hmm. It's just like the middle of the night. That's He's trying to sleep. Probably it. That makes more sense to me. Too many bananas. Too many bananas, right? And a little tummy ache. Get him out. I think we've established that it is a tummy. Like he just. Are has, we talking like he just has a banana tummy. bananas or like people bananas? Hey, they're the same. Th- whatever. The same I'm, not even, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I've already six, made my piece. I know things. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. All right. Well, we got to this. We got to the scars. We did some. We did some of the fur. Do, uh, do you have much more to do on any of the fur, uh, Jordan? I mean, there's there's a lot more work to do with the fur. But sure. It's it's pretty pretty base coated. We've got a few more minutes if we want to go a little past past our hour. So I'll let you decide what uh, you want to do to wrap up. Can I make I I, I want to make a little suggestion, Jordan? Mm, yeah. I would like to see those chains painted gold. 
because then they'd be a nice warm color. You want them gold? To complement the warm skin. But that's that's just that's just my suggestion. Alright. Gold gold you want the chains gold or the the, the shackles? Bra- the gold? brace, yeah, the, the, the all shackles. Alright, alright. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have some fun with this. Ooh, uh, fun. I'm gonna have some fun with this. And I'm not because I also don't have like actual gold next to me, so I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna make it some like not not quite real gold. Uh, which one do I want to do? Uh, do the top one. Nate Brooks wants to know if you finished Hammer Clack from last week. Um, Ham- Hammer Clack was donated to. Oh yeah, that's what happened to, to me it. and my painting efforts. I do a, a yes. lunchtime painting with a lot of the staff mm-hmm. around here to paint up some models, and so uh, we got. We got hammer clack most of the way through, so that just made it easier to to get him done. Yeah, I was like, wait a second, I don't have hammer clack on my desk somewhere. Yeah, it was a complicated answer. No, he's not done yet. Going in there with the brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And is that uh, is that bloodstone? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 No, that's blood tracker brown. Blood tracker brown. Yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of in quick grab it and go mode. Yeah, it's all right. Josh gave me a, a goal. A last minute task. A last minute task. It's just so nice to see my dumb suggestion be used for once. It's so quiet. We're just we're just so watching. Quiet. Yeah, I'm just enthralled right now. I'm still thinking about monkey ladders. Monkey mm-hmm. ladders. How could you not? I mean, monster ladders. We shouldn't. I don't want to leave out other monkeys. I was also thinking of other things that you could put on skyscrapers to defend against giant monsters, like mm-hmm. uh, some sort of incinerator target, where like mm-hmm. the the building or the block could put mm-hmm. all of their garbage, mm-hmm. and then that way, when a fire breathing monster comes along, it is attracted oh. to to shooting its fire into that hole. Sure. Uh, they get to release their rage. Right. Nothing is destroyed but the garbage. Right. Which just does, just cleans up. It's just that's environmentally friendly. That Oz should tap you to make some rules for Monpok buildings. Yeah. Because that makes total sense to me. Someone caught me on Facebook saying that I'll, the only reason I wanted the gold change was to reinforce my narrative that King Kano's <laughs> dapper. You got me, all right? Yes, I'm not going to lie. You know, I just want to win an argument for once. Can I have that? Don't you have arguments at the workplace? God. There's no, we don't have arguments. Friendly debate. Yeah, oh yeah. And a, li- and a lot of well, isn't actuals. that what arguments are? <laughs> friendly debate. Uh, they're not always friendly, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doug Seacat. Uh, you know what? I'm coming not harsh. I'm not even kind of <laughs> <laughs> dignify <laughs> that with a response. It would help to win arguments if they were sometimes correct. Let me tell you something. Doug <laughs> Let me tell you something. I've been correct more than three times in the three years I've been here. More than right? three times. So just let me. I'm glad you're keeping count. I, I have to, man, because of people like Doug and <laughs> everyone. Just. I mean, if you were more right, maybe you wouldn't have to keep count. Why do you always side with him, Jordan? <laughs> Who said I was siding with anybody? I do have to point out, 
that that is coming from a man who gets to make up his answers. That that's why you can't beat them. Become em. correct you after the fact. You can't beat them. I try to say, Doug, that's not right. He's like, oh, well, I'll show you yeah, this. You right. ask and him a he, question, and then he, he, the he can button. literally change history it's, I, yeah, and literally. the future to suit his whims. It doesn't matter how crazy I get if he... He can retcon anything he wants. I didn't realize till this moment just how much power Doug C. Oh, wields. You have no idea. Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one day I'll defeat Doug in one thing. One day. <laughs> uh, and with that mm-hmm. threat of victory forever, mm-hmm. we're gonna have to we're gonna have to say goodbye. Oh no! I have to shut it down. I didn't have time. Oh no! So we're gonna put on some we're, music again. We're, we're getting there. Oh, it's looking so nice, though. We're, we're getting there. Oh, it's looking so rad. I love it. Yes, uh, uh, gold like, looks nice. And well, and requires some build up. And I like how you did the uh, the highlight lines on the bracelet great. too. Yeah. <sighs> Super cool. You should finish that and then give it to me, Jordan. Okay, bye, everyone. No, Just <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, I got it. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, sorry I couldn't finish the whole thing. Uh, I blame Josh. Uh, no, but, well, like like everyone you know, else does. At, like we always do. Yeah. But uh, this, is, this is kind of where he's at for right now. Um, I'll probably come back and finish this guy. He's a lot of fun to paint. Even though it's my second one in the last day. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling this this scheme for... for yeah, it looks, it looks look, awesome. how, look how fast so. he paints up. You've painted two King Condos to <laughs> near completion in as many days. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's uh, that's true. Oh, do we have that, that photo that we can show of the regular one? The studio one? Do we have that? Can uh-uh. we do that? No, we, not yet. It's not that? ready. Not yet. Mm-mm. I didn't have permission. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Well, I'll ask next time. I can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. We thanks, are guys. very far over our time. Uh, but uh, we'll see you in two weeks. One Hashtag week, maybe, but two weeks for me, for sure. Hashtag P3 Painters. Hashtag 3 feet. Blah, blah, blah. Paint Hashtag some stuff. P3 Send painters. us photos. Let's do it. Thank Bye. you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks Bye-bye. for watching.